Hey guys, this is Martin and welcome back to our Burp extension mini series. Today's extension I'm going to show you, which I found find incredibly useful, is the content type converter extension. So you can head over to extensions, BAP store, content type converter, and then simply install it. So what, what does this do? It's basically, it allows you to facilitate um, if you see a JSON request to turn it into XML or if you see an XML request to turn it into JSON, right? So why would you want to do this? So I had seen instances in the past where JSON, REST APIs, JSON is pretty much the, the, the standard, along with GraphQL now as well, but it's pretty much the standard for data transmission on, on the application side, right? But um, very often, so XML is like an older protocol and it's still heavily in use and, um, you know, we had SOAP API, SOAP XML back in the days, like many years ago, but it's still in use. And what I found in bug bounty and in penetration testing that often JSON endpoints are also responding to XML, even though they shouldn't do that, right? And this is a quick way on of actually checking on whether that's the case and it saves you a lot of time on crafting the specific request or moving it from one format to another. So let me show you this in, in action real quick, how this works. So you would then go over here and install it, right? Like um, make sure it's ticked and that's basically it. And then you come over, then we have a website here, for example, this one, and it takes XML input, right? So it takes XML input. So I do a check stock functionality here and let's head over to the, to the proxy and send that over to repeater. So you can clearly see that there is XML input um, being sent and then it, it returns the, the stock items in the, in the scenario. So once you have the extension installed, all you need to do is like to do a right click, you go to extensions, you go to content type converter, and then you can, for example, convert it to JSON. And then look what happens, boom. And now it's change that to uh, the content type is changed to application JSON and you have like a JSON blob down here and you hit send and basically you see that there was an XML parser error, right? That that on its own may be a vulnerability depending on what it returns. So I, I had scenarios where basically uh, system information or system relevant information was being returned. Um, and you do the same thing if you see a JSON request, hit right click and then convert it to XML and see what happens. So this is this is a good tip always like in bug bounty, when you see JSON, try XML, when you see XML, try JSON basically. And this extension helps you doing that more quickly. I hope this makes sense and I see you in the next video.